Hi, I want to show you how to bring your object inside iFlow and be able to animate everything. And later on on the video, I will show you how I managed to make this effect of revealing. Let me make an analogy how iFlow works with material. What do you do when you have only one object with different uh, parts? different faces, but you want different materials applied to them. Normally, you use multi-sub object with different materials inside it, and you apply to it. So now I applied, but all of it have only material ID number one. Let's say for this object, the wheels I select, and go to set material ID number two. So this is applied, or I go to Faces and apply different material ID number three. So consider this as your type flow. I'll show you here. Here is that your object, right? Here I add, I have only one object applied to it, but now I will add all the other parts and look what you happened. Now I have everything is only one object, let's say, and I will apply the material. I have this that only was only for the skull, but all other parts now take the same material, but they don't have different material IDs. So what I need to do is to bring all those other materials to here and apply the right material ID but I need to do that in the original material let's say here the mask I can apply edit vegetable poly on the top just to do it in a best way and I have four material I apply material number five nothing happened here yet I flow also nothing because I need add in material ID one more and bring the original material and make this tense and now you have so I just need to do it to the rest of the other object put the right material ID for example this one I need to put another materials ID and so on. Let me do it in a fast way and I will show you. Done. I just change all material IDs as I said that I would do. Otherwise it would not work. And now we can animate, do whatever we want inside the flow, keeping the same material as our original object. So here you see that all a type flow object, particles. And now I will talk about the review. I create a Voronoi fracture. Right after that I create a custom properties to set the scale, scale magnitude. I create a channel. Right after that, I scale this to zero, so you cannot see anymore. And then I create a box that animate to go from inside to outside of the object. And then I make a test outside. And this test outside move to this event. There is a pro custom property get not set, and the trick is that you need to put to continuous by the foo is on entry, so you put on continuous, and to make it animate you need to change the interpolation, otherwise it will just like pop 100% of the recovered properties. So in this way, it starts scaling. And this interpolation is how fast it will return to original value. If I put 0 0.01 here, for example, it will be 
very slow so you need to tune this to your animation otherwise here I would need much more frames so 0 0.5 works for me in this case there are other ways to do this bring back original values uh, position or scale but that's the second one that I don't like very much I will tell you why right now so I will turn off this one the same principle bring back the scale I'll turn on this is the original setup that I used for my box 3 video you can check that in that case it worked just fine but here as we fracture only one object it doesn't work very good because it doesn't bring the original scale so here it will multiply the scale that we put to zero so zero multiply anything is zero so that's the first problem that we will see that you need to put not zero but a very small number and that means that you can see the particles right if it's 0 0.1 you still have particles in, in your scene so the second problem that it will keep growing unstoppable until that you have to make another event to make it to stop And to make it stop, you need to fine tune exactly number that sadly it will not match and will run in some weird cases eventually. So, in some cases, this just works as my box tree growing, but for this case, this setup is much more clean and more effective. So, I hope you like it. It's just some insights and see you next one